Chris, over to you. Hi, thank you. Um, it's really uh, amazing listening to people and, and, and their journeys. That's all I'm going to talk about with Chatter. I'm Chris Williams, a former teacher from Hull and Chatter's a teaching approach. I've got a few slides to show and I'll, I'll just rattle through. So next slide, please. We support um, teachers in the classroom and help children with, with speaking and writing. And we've, we've developed a teaching approach which was made in, in Hull. Ne next slide, please. So I was asked when I was a teacher by Hull City Council's early years team to um, work with families because we were concerned as a city that um, tablet technology and smartphones were helping us communicate faster and wider, but were taking language and interactions away from children. So we, we made some storytelling software. Ne next slide, please. So it, it, um, it's simple software. It was built by Eon Visual Media in Hull and it's used in the classroom to help children with their memory and their speaking. Next slide, please. It's also used by families. And this, this is the start of our growth, I suppose. We launched for, with 500 families on um, Orchard Park in Hull. And within a year of their use, this was via the children's centers, the, um, the number of children achieving expected levels of um, spoken language in, has increased by 40%. And that, that helped us get a lot of attention um, with the impact. So ne next slide, we, um, we applied to the Department of Trade and they funded us to present at the biggest education trade show in the world. Um, that's the best show in, in London. Ne next slide. So we, we, we were funded for a stand and we, we got a lot of international visitors who were interested in the impact of our work. Um, Next slide, please. So one of those was an organization from Helsinki, Finland, and they were called 100. And they, they invited us to join their platform. And we were voted or have been voted for the past three years by their global network as, as one of the most inspirational um, and scalable education innovations in the world. So by the Department of Trade supporting our work based on impact in whole, we, we managed to get ourselves on our list, which attracted some global recognition. Ne next slide. So I, I frequently get the chance to work in Helsinki, where in schools and kindergartens in Finland have just moved into Sweden. And we're very aligned with their um, educational design and the, the impact there is strong. Um, and likewise, some of the good practice that we're sharing to Finland and, Hel uh, uh, and Sweden has been developed in, in the UK and we're able to take strong ideas back. Um, next slide. So one of the ways we've been helped over there is lots of support from the Department of Trade and the, um, the staff at the embassies. So we, we, we do presentations at the British Embassy. This kind of gives us credibility. The British Embassy are very good at, at, at hosting people from different cities and, and spreading the word for a British innovation. Next, next slide. Kind of following that, we managed to get as far as Southeast Asia. Um, and again, it was the Department of Trade that opened the door for us in, in, in that um, domain. And that, next slide. So our, our teaching approach, we, we appeal to teachers because what we do really helps children. So we, we, we've got um, the opportunity to work with schools in Malaysia. And it, it's kind of word of mouth is the best way for us to spread. We, we, we make an impact in one area and then another and another. So the next slide. Um, please. So it's, it's given me the chance to speak at a number of different events um, overseas. Next slide. And our approach, as much as it started with the youngest children in Hull, this, this kid is 16 years old, he's in Malaysia, he's learning English. And through our software and teaching process, he's getting the top scores his school have ever had. So it's, 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 it's how one idea can spread. And we've had such support along the way. Ne next slide, please. So with the people that, that kind of look out for education innovations, they, they, they um, look for impact in the classroom. We've got data and evidence that says what we do works and then scalability. Scalability is still a challenge where like we're a software company combined with training and the two go hand in hand. Our software doesn't work unless our staff are trained. So we're, we're not rapid scale at this stage, but we do have distribution partners in, in, in other um, areas. Next slide, please. Just under so, two minutes, Chris, I'm Grant, afraid. Yeah, we finished. So we, we've, we've reached um, 
I think 20 or so countries, like the biggest catalyst for us was the lockdown. And we, we launched a free resource for families called Chatter Club. And it's, it's got thousands of activities that support language and literacy. Um, and it, it, it spread like wildfire. Like I, it, was, it was predominantly at first English speaking countries, but Chatter works in any language. So we got as far as the Middle East, as China as in, uh, and India, etc. Next slide, please. Um, and this really is, is, is more or less the end. It was that scale and that growth um, into, into so many countries that allowed us to get investment backing from the Northern Powerhouse Investment Fund. And we, we, we managed to secure a £250,000 investment, partly to support our marketing and partly to help us with another build of our software, which again has gone to Eon uh, Visual Media in Hull. Um, it's also given us um, a chairman, a CEO, a board of directors that, that have business acumen and it allows me to do my, my day job, which remains supporting um, children and teachers in the classroom. Next slide is the last one. Um, so currently we are campaigning um, in lo on lots of fronts in the UK. The new early years curriculum fits our work. We're involved heavily with um, catch-up projects but we're also expanding our new product, Chatter English, which is, um, well, we're currently working in a lot of schools in Brazil teaching um, English as an additional language. So things are, are moving on. And it's just from one probably very simple idea that started in Hull, we've had enough um, interest, support and backing to help us, us, us spread the word. Um, if anyone here is a school governor, by the way, do, do feel free to introduce us to, to any head teacher. And we've got loads of free stuff on our website, www.chatterlearning.com. So thank you for listening. Thank, thank you, Chris.